Hi, this is Deborah Brooks. Thanks for joining me in my presentation on my business, Sweetgrass Basketry, Maine Indian Passamaquoddy, Sweetgrass and Brown Ash Baskets. We've been making baskets professionally for over 23 years, and I love to design and create with texture and color, and I follow the design of traditional baskets, yet I always add a twist of my own unique style in each one. I was born on the Passamaquoddy Reservation at Indian Township, Maine, and I was introduced to basket making early as a child. I have many fond memories of my mother and other family members helping me to learn and understand the art of weaving. This quote is a Wabanaki creation legend. And Glooskab the legendary giant was a transformer, culture hero of the people. And the legend reveals how Glooskab provided the people an entrance into this world by shooting arrows into ash trees while the people emerged from the bark of the trees. And this transformation gave birth to wood splint basketry. Weaving handmade baskets of brown ash wood splints and sweetgrass is a very traditional cultural aspect of the Wabanaki people. The brown ash provides structure and substance for the baskets and this particular traditional style basketry has a continuity as basket weavers today continue to create baskets. It's a living cultural tradition. I think the spirit of Glooskop and the basketry lives on in this living tradition of Maine Indian baskets. Because the harvesting is so labor intensive and requires a lot of muscle, I get my ash from tribal members in Maine who harvest and complete the heavy processing of the ash. The process includes selecting, cutting, hauling the log, peeling the bark, pounding the ash, and peeling the ash strips from the log. The sweetgrass is harvested in summer from main coastal waters, then it's dried in bunches until it's used for braid. And I hand braid all of my sweetgrass. Both unbraided and braided strands are used in the weaving of the baskets. It takes a lot of skill to braid, and it took me a long time to learn how to braid well. When I first started, I always did seemingly everything wrong. It took a lot of many, many hours of trial and error to get it just right. I used a wooden braider that was handed down to me to make the sweetgrass coils so much easier to braid. It saves lots of time and effort. I continue to braid grass often when I'm not weaving with ash, I'm braiding grass. And I have been so fortunate to have been able to work with my mother, who is my mentor. She was an amazing braider. So is my aunt. They could braid so fast. My braiding is much slower, but I'm um, getting faster as time goes on. The braider that I use, fortunately, is a must-have for braiding grass, and I have been fortunate enough to be able to, to get grass, to get enough, to have a good supply. Most of the supplies and materials that I use have been passed down to me from many generations ago. I have tools and gauges. The braider, the wooden braider that I spoke about is pictured here. Also a picture of some of the molds, gauges for sizing the ash strips, and a picture of some of the braided grass when it's finished. I usually coil it in large coils so that I have enough to complete one basket at least at a time. A very popular basket that I make is the collar basket. This is a 9-inch collar basket pictured. They are typically made of braided sweetgrass. 
primarily. I usually do a design of stripes or some kind. And uh, they, can, they are considered fancy baskets. Um, and they can be colored ash as well as the natural color. And they provide function as well as beauty. They can be used to store items of typically in the um, late 1800s, near the turn of the century, these baskets were used to store men's collars, and that's why they're labeled collar baskets. The traditional sewing flat baskets are an all-time favorite and they are durable because they are constructed, mine are constructed, with heavy standards uh, baseline for the structure of the basket. And they were used uh, originally for sewing items. And they call them flats because they're not quite as tall as the collar baskets. They can be used to store many different items. They would have been very common and popular during the turn of the century. The traditional work basket is shown here in medium as well as large, and it is an all-time favorite also. It's one of my favorite baskets, um, and also the, the important feature of the work basket is that the dome cover is hand-shaped without a mold, which makes it a beautiful, uh, elegant basket to display as well. It would originally have been used in the Victorian times for holding lots of larger items and keeping everything organized in one place. The Curlicue Weave Bowl. This would have been created in the Victorian times as well. The uh, Curly Weave is a very popular weave as well as the color here in blue. Can be made in any color as well as natural, and has an amazing ribbon top that gives it just a beautiful design look for any spot in anyone's home, and one of my favorites for sure. I really believe that the voice of our ancestors in basket weaving speaks of respect, beauty, and the wisdom of the land. I feel so fortunate to be able to carry on a very old tradition, and tradition not only old, but a tradition that has continuity. It has continued over time, across generations, and the beauty of these baskets just continues to grow and grow, and their popularity as well. I feel really close to my ancestors when I'm making baskets, and I respect all of the hard work they went through. I know that I put in a lot of hours in my basket weaving and feel very honored to be able to make these baskets. Thank you so much for viewing my work, and I encourage all of you to visit me online to learn more about the baskets that I create and a little history as well. And I encourage you also to reach out with any of your questions. You are important to me and the Heritage Basket today is continually growing and changing and represents a very long tradition of Passamaquoddy culture, of Wabanaki culture that I hope you will appreciate and learn more about.